Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Welcome to my thoughts and impressions of the Aegis Eclipse, the latest ship to hit concept. As we are expecting, this small ship is a cutting edge stealth bomber with a fairly beefy price point. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way. It went on pre-sale a day early to concierge level citizens with zero information. That sale gave you a special form badge and a unique hull number exactly like the Polaris concept last fall. The price is $250 for war bond, or if you decide to use store credit, $275. With this sale, we're also told that the projected live release price is $330, which is a nice touch. It's on sale for one week as usual, and this sale includes three other packages. The Top Secret Fighter Pack, which is a Saber and a Gladius, plus six month insurance for $240. The Top Secret Bomber Pack, which is an Eclipse, Gladiator, and Retaliator Bomber with LTI for $670. And the War Pack, which is a Warlock, Titan, Stalker, Gladius, Reclaimer, Redeemer, Saber, Warden, Sentinel, Harbinger, Gemini, Retaliator Bomber, Retaliator Base, plus an Eclipse, all with LTI for $2,350. No typo. The Eclipse is said to be the pinnacle of scan diffusing stealth technology. If I'm reading into this correctly, when running as intended, it will be the closest thing to a cloaked ship that we've seen so far. Objects are actually quite hard for the pilot to visually detect. If the targeting computer can't see it, it won't be highlighted on the HUD, and essentially, the object will remain undetectable. Cloaking tech is not actually planned for Star Citizen. In the past, it was said that deliberate efforts were being made to keep it that way. At 21 meters long and 17,000 kilograms in mass, the Eclipse is much smaller than a Vanguard Harbinger. Because the stats pages are a hot mess, I'm choosing to reserve my comparison until later. It mounts three size 9 torpedoes, making the Eclipse one of the best Alpha Strike platforms so far. It also has a pair of fixed size 2 weapons, which is better than expected being a bomber. It has two size 1 shields, and I would expect this ship to come apart once projectiles start hitting it. For engines, it has two size 2s, so when combined with the low mass, leads me to believe speed similar to a Sabre. 10 size 1 maneuvering thrusters, which is fair. Both of these seem fine because of its role. For safety, I can see this ship flying with a group, possibly relying on Sabres for protection. And where a single Eclipse is a threat, I can see a pack of them being absolutely devastating. I can't wait to see what a flight of these will do to a Polaris or even an Idris. If you have a Gladiator and another main fighter, the Eclipse might be that sweet spot that you've been looking for. If you're undecided, pick up a Redeemer to Eclipse CCU and tuck it away for 25 bucks. Like most other Aegis ships, it's drop dead gorgeous and the frame suggests decent atmospheric flight. A quick channel note. Some of you know that I'm an active member of Canada's military. The content has been a bit reduced lately because I needed to focus on some commitments that were work related. Things are returning to normal and I wanted to thank you for your understanding. I hope you enjoyed this no bullshit breakdown of this unique concept sale. If you got something out of it, please help me by linking it to a friend or orgmate. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.